Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Stardew Valley 1.6 playthrough series. It is great to be here. I hope your day is going wonderfully so far. So we are back on the farm today, folks. And we have some work to do, right? Obviously the typical farm chores. We've got some watering, got some, you know, animal caretaking. And then I think today is going to be spent kind of foraging and probably capped off with a little bit of fishing. So the idea for today is our pickaxe is being upgraded, right? We're getting it into the copper pickaxe, which is exciting, but it's got to be in the shop for a few days. So the mine really is not an option. So we might as well kind of work on trying to upgrade our foraging skill here. Foraging skill. And then obviously let's keep rolling with the fishing skill. So I, I see that is uh, kind of what we're doing today. And then hopefully we get a rainy day in the next few days here. And we can take it to the mine and get, I don't know, level 50, 60, 70. We just want to get into a spot where we can get some iron. Right? So that is the goal. And it looks like we have a little event here. So we have Demetrius. Um, he's doing some field research, essentially. And there's an empty cave on our land. It's down here somewhere. And uh, he's going to set up a little research study in there. And this is an event where you can select either the ability to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. And I usually go with the mushrooms. I think the mushrooms are a little bit better. So I'm going to go with the mushrooms here. You can also go fruit bats. It'll give you, you know, various fruits like peaches, apples, pomegranates, etc, etc. The mushrooms give you a few different species of mushroom. And you just check it every few days. And you can get a nice little mushroom harvest. I like it because it helps with the community center, personally. Of course, the fruit does as well, but I find the fruit a little easier to get. So we're going to tell Demetrius to hook us up with some mushrooms. And we are going to begin the day's chores. So let's go ahead and just offload some of the stuff. Um, what tools do we need? What tools do we not need? So if we are going with the goal of fishing and crop carrying we don't really need I think we can keep the axe but we don't need our weapons for sure so let's grab our watering can and let's take to the fields here folks and we do have our harvest of our uh, wild seeds right so look at all this stuff we have the very beneficial leak so very good uh, energy reproduction on the leak the horseradish is decent. Dandelion is also decent. And then some daffodils that we can just go around. Or go right ahead, I should say, and sell. Also got a nice little carrot there. Perfect. Got these uh, salmon berries as well. We want to keep collecting those. Let's pet our precious dog, Luna. And let's keep on going. Got some seeds here. Luna's chasing the squirrels. And on we go. Got some double mayonnaise production going on here, so why don't we go ahead and make sure we keep these machines full. Especially while we're on the farm. Let's pet the chickens, collect the eggs. You know, all of the good farm stuff, right? This is the farm life we're living. The fun and simple farm life here. Although simple is an understatement, because although it might be simple, it's still hard work. Got to lug around this, you know, heavy watering can here. And onward we go. We should be getting a strawberry harvest relatively soon here. I mean, these look like they're almost ready to go. And that's going to be a nice little cap on spring for us. For sure. I don't really foresee myself going with more crops. I mean, I could. I guess, like, we could grow some stuff. But I think fishing is just as effective. At least as you're thinking about the energy it costs to water all these fields every single morning right well that could be energy spent out foraging or mining or you know fishing so i think i'm good with the spring harvest here like i said we're going to get two strawberry harvests which is very nice so let's make sure we obviously keep all these watered up but from an income stand standpoint i'm feeling much better well i'll be feeling much better i should say once we get these strawberries harvested, and you will see how effective they truly are. Um, yeah, strawberry is amazing. Definitely amazing. Definitely a purchase that you want to make. Well, first off, you want to save up for, and then a purchase you want to make at the egg festival. 
you know, where we just ruthlessly crushed little kids in the Easter egg hunt, right? We sent them home crying to their parents. And we don't particularly feel too bad about it. We feel about the same as, you know, Linus does when he's encouraged to dig through garbage cans. If you checked out the episode on that, I got a really, really fun laugh out of that one. Just that whole uh, response, that whole interaction. So let's keep watering, and then we're going to go south, I believe. There's got to be some forageables down there. It's usually the location to go when looking to forage. So we're all watered up here, it looks like. Let's get our tools back, and actually we have a real nice little cache of things that can restore our energy. Um, so for the mayonnaise, we're going to sell that outright. Obviously save our carrots. Carrots are just super good. I think this is a new crop as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, these daffodils. We were holding on to these for a gift item. I think it still makes sense to do so. Why don't we go ahead and sell this horseradish. Uh, dandelions are very good. Let's keep a stack of salmon berries. Let's actually put our field snacks away. And let's rock with the leeks. Let's sell the horseradish or we can just... We can just eat it, actually. Let's eat the horseradish. And our tools are good to go, so let's head south. And let's keep our eyes open for these seeds here. I saw several while I was watering, so let's see if we can't... Collect them. Yeah, here's another one here. They're all pine cones, but that's where the mushroom cave is going to be. So once Demetrius gets all set up and good to go, we'll want to check back there periodically. So here we go. Here's a uh, salmon berry. So we're going to do this nice little loop all, all the way around. We're going to collect as much of this fruit and, you know, r restorative products that we possibly can. It gets our forage level up and it's a good thing to just kind of stockpile, right? So here's a horseradish. We've got another salmon berry right here. Just all good stuff. You can just throw it in a chest and, you know, someday when you're going for a marathon mine run, right? It'll definitely come in handy. Energy is the main currency in this game, of course. The more of it you have, the more money that you can make. The more you can grind your skills, the more you can, you know, cut down trees. Possibilities are truly endless. So I'm also wondering about maybe getting a well. I don't think we necessarily need to do that right now, but... I like the idea of getting a well. Although maybe I don't necessarily need to do that because I want to go... I want to try to get some quality sprinklers down as quickly as possible. Look at all these onions to harvest here too. Just lovely. Onion, salmon, berry. Spring is a bountiful season in Stardew Valley. And it looks like we did level up our foraging there. Very nice. All kinds of these uh, berry bushes here. I'm going to want to assess our inventory space before we really consider posting it up at the beach, right? There's forgeables on the beach as well. Uh, so we'll want to hit that up. Here's Leah. She seems like the type that might like this. Yeah, a really nice gift. Thank you. You are very welcome. Literally just picked it. In fact, you probably walked by several of the bushes. Could have picked it yourself, but it is the thought that counts. So why don't we head on into town here? I think we're doing okay. I mean, we can eat some of the stuff, right? We can eat a few of these onions. We're making good time. Either that or we go ahead and try to get a well installed. I think I'm good at holding off on that for now. Probably swing in there on a mine run in the future. Check the garbage, of course. Channel our inner Linus. Although I would argue that we are the garbage can checking OGs, for sure. Linus ain't got nothing on us. In fact, we are inspired by Linus. We have a strange doll, so that is 
It's an artifact that we can turn into the museum. Very nice. And let's keep on. So we have these little coral reefs here. We can pick these up. We have an urchin here. And we actually have a oyster here as well. And some more of these little worm guys. Nice, final lost book. So the library has been expanded. So let's see. I don't have... Why don't we do this? Let's pop into Willy's. I really don't like buying bait, but... I'm a little under-prepared for uh, an extended time fishing, so let's buy some bait. Let's also buy a unit of this trout soup here. And trout soup does plus one fishing, so it does up your fishing skill. Also gives you a lot of energy back. So look at this. We are set up very nicely. So let's catch some fish. Never mind. The bubbles disappeared as soon as I... Came around. They must have saw me or something. Obviously, we're looking for the halibut. We're also looking for these treasure chests here. We can get some very good things in the treasure chest. Some very rare things in the treasure chest. Obviously, as evidenced by the Iridium band that we're rocking right now. But, I mean, that's some coal, right? We will absolutely take some coal. Do we see any bubbles? Nope. Alright, let's get to the spot. And this should help chip in a little bit of extra income. Well, sometime in the summer, I definitely want to get down an apple tree and a pomegranate tree. So combine those are 10 grand from Pierre's. So that's a little steep, right? Can maybe even get those late spring. But basically you harvest them in the fall. And the apple is needed for several bundles. The pomegranate is also needed for several bundles. So... And they, they take 28 days to grow, so. And then they produce every two to three days or so. And they'll give you one of their fruits. I think apples give you multiple. But either way, it's something that you want to get on quickly. And to do so, it requires some income. So that's kind of what we're looking at there. And then, yeah, like I said, as soon as we get that... As soon as we get that copper pickaxe back, we're going to the mines, and we're not looking back. Hopefully, it's we get the axe back, and it's a rainy day. We can just join those two elements together. Another treasure chest. So, we're two for two on the treasure chest so far. Let's hope we get something nice. Iron ore, gold ore, and an amphibian fossil. So, something else to kind of donate. Well, not kind of to donate to Gunther at the museum. Very nice. We'll take it. Except for we are running out of space here. We can probably just crush these spring onions here quick. Either that or maybe this sardine. Although we'll probably catch another one is my guess. Can always take down the Joja Cola. There we go, there's a sea jelly. We're getting all kinds of random stuff here today. Why don't we crush this Joja Cola? Does the body good. Actually it does increase your speed for like 30 seconds. 25 seconds, something like that. But yeah, we're gonna eat these onions down. Then somebody give me a piece of gum. All right, let's go B back to fishing. We shall resume. All right, this one's going to basically catch himself. We're getting a lot of treasure chests with our plus one fishing. It's definitely something to note here. Another amphibian fossil. Good things. Good thing those stack. And a magma geode. Very nice.
Maybe we can get our fishing uh, leveled up as well. We'll have to see. Want to catch some halibut for sure. More seaweed. I mean, we'll take the seaweed. It is useful. If you're going to build some uh, fish ponds, you need seaweed. Oop, jumped the gun there. That's all right. We got a treasure chest on the board anyways. Usually compromises the quality of the fish because you have to, you know, divert off the fish to catch it. Three magma geodes. Very nice. So I've got plenty of pine cones. We could always move off the pine cone. The coral we can always get more of that. So we have a little flexibility here with what we can move off of in our inventory in the event that we need to. For the time being, let's just keep casting our, our pole here. Get that fishing leveled up. We're sitting at level 7. More herrings, that's right. Got the anchovies biting today, that's for sure. All right, let's see. What can we toss? Let's throw, let's throw down the basic coral. You can always come and get it at a later time, too. It, do, it, it will stay there, right? More seaweed. Our fishing buff is gone. There's a halibut. Very nice. Iridium quality as well. That is the ideal catch. Okay, so what are we going to do? I think we have plenty of these pine cones. So let's go ahead and just toss the pine cone down. Can always get it later. This, I believe, is another halibut. But of course, I didn't get perfect, so it's not going to be iridium quality. So we're going to have to free up another inventory space. Uh, let's see, what are we going to offload here now? Three coal is very hard to throw out, given our the current state of our coal. Let's go ahead and throw down the sardine. It'll sell for like 40 gold. Let's get some more halibut here. got herring written all over it. Well, that's an anchovy. This should be a halibut. You bet. Alright, good deal. Iridium quality. You'd love to see that, folks. This feels like a herring, maybe an anchovy. Herring. Could certainly do worse. Got a broken CD. So that is a future refined quartz. Which is pretty nice, actually. I think I can throw it down for now. Either that or we throw down this oyster. I can throw this down. We can get this later.
All right, here we go. This is a halibut for sure. And we have a chest up there. Definitely going for the chest. You don't want to leave the chest on the board. You never know what you're leaving behind, right? You could be leaving something real nice. All right, halibut. And got some deluxe bait and some copper ore. Let's throw it down on the dock. And I'm coming back here to uh, a cache of just random stuff, for sure. Trash, no thanks. All right, what do we have? This one's going to catch himself. Herring. More seaweed. Man, I've been catching a lot of seaweed today. Got to keep it out of the weeds, man. Let's go. Anchovy. Come on, halibut. Let's go. No, this is a herring. Sure is. All right, let's keep let's keep casting here. Got plenty of energy left, plenty of time. Nice calm day spent on the docks. Keep it out of the weeds, bro. Let's go. All right, this is a halibut. Never mind, that's an anchovy. Too many anchovies for my liking. There's a herring. We've got a few more casts here. Probably leave at about 1230. Should be plenty of time. But of course, there's always the, the one more cast theorem, right? Where you're just compelled to, like, let's just get one more. I've been burned by that before. All right, we got a nice quick bite there. So we can catch this fish and be on our way. All right, there we go. Let's head back. Get the fish sold. Get the barn door closed. And get to bed. Should be about two grand or so worth. Plus, we foraged a bunch of uh, stuff that we can eat. So, overall, a pretty good day. Kind of a maintenance day to kind of help set us up for a future spelunking run in the mine. So, let's rock and roll here. get some commerce going, alright? Alright, halibut. Anchovy, halibut, anchovy. Herring, herring, and sardine. Alright, looking good there. Let's drop off the strange doll here. The amphibian fossil here as well. Okay. Let's get the coal going there. Um... Let me see here. Treasure Hunter is two gold bars. Okay. By the way, we can get 
one gold bar going. And then we can get... Let's get another copper ore going as well. Alright, looking good. So let's get the ore in the furnace here. Got some gold star mayonnaise. Very nice. It's 140. We could try to make it over to the bin here quick. We're going to try to do it. Sell the mayonnaise and let's get to bed. Alright, that's why you put the bed right by the doorway. Alright, level 4 foraging, plus 1 axe proficiency in wild berry harvesting. We can now make the tapper. Uh, new crafting recipe, mushroom log. Okay. New crafting recipe, wild seeds for summer. Very nice. And level 8 fishing as well here, folks. Deluxe worm bin, dressed spinner, and barbed hook. We can make all of this ourselves now, which is very nice. But level 8 fishing, getting closer to that level 10 profession. And what do we have? We have, you know, four units of mayonnaise selling for about a grand. That's, that's not so bad. Got some daffodils chipping in some income. You bet. And then our efforts for the day, primarily. 11 herring, 825. Those iridium quality halibut. That's where it's at. Very, very nice. All right. Overall, a pretty good day. Chipped in some income. Looking forward to getting that pickaxe back and continuing our momentum in the mine. Day 19 here, though. We're not going to... Never mind. We get it back. Clear and sunny all day today. How about the fortune teller? Good humor. A little extra luck. All right. So it is a Friday. We're going to check the traveling cart, obviously. I have a request for you. I need a fresh cauliflower. You bet, Jody. I got you. I actually saved one for you. Right there. But let's get the chickens taken care of first here. Nope, don't want to eat the egg. Let's open up the door. Be free, chickens. Spread your small wings and try to fly. Water the dog. Let's see. Jody's request. Yep. Got it. All right. Let's get this watered up. And now the question is, uh, what do we do today? Do we go to the mine? Do we maybe stop by Pierre's and grab an apple or a pomegranate tree? Do we save our cash? Like I said, once we get these strawberries harvested, we're going to be making a pretty respectable amount of cash. So these are things to kind of figure out. Of course, it is sunny, so we have to water our crops. Which will take some time and energy, of course. So let's kind of see what the time looks like. We do have to check the traveling card as well. To maybe look at getting another copper tool upgraded. I'd like to get some iron and get our iron axe though so a few different things a few different options and again that is you know one of the funnest parts about this game it's kind of like you wake up and it's like what do i do today like what do i want to do what do i want to focus on and obviously time is of the essence it is the factor that works against you but what do i want to do with the time i have 
I think we could probably knock out some floors in the mine. But we have to check the traveling cart. Like I said. So, let's get these watered up. They are officially watered. Let's drop that off. Let's drop our ore off as well. Let's get our stuff sold here. Let's pet our sweet dog, Luna. Good girl. Alright, so traveling carts. We could probably come back up through the farm and then head to town to grab the pickaxe. We have seven grand. Let's do that. Let's check the traveling cart first and foremost. Got a seed. Got some worms here. Some clay. Very nice. Alright, traveling cart. Tell me you have a red cabbage. Let's go. I just want to secure it, and then I don't have to worry about it any longer. Alright, Fiddlehead Fern. That is the reason we need our axe upgraded, so don't need to worry about that. Rainbow Shell. We have a Poppy. That is a community center item, but we can easily just grow one of those. Cranberry Rhubarb. Jelly. Rare Seed. I mean, we definitely need the Rare Seed eventually, but... You sow it in the fall, and it takes all season to grow. I think what I'll do is I'll go to Pierre's, I'll buy... Either an apple or a pomegranate tree. We'll probably lean on the... The not-so-expensive one. And then I can swing by Clint's, pick up my pickaxe, and then get up to the mines. I'll just keep the apple tree in my inventory and we can plant it before bed, provided we have the time. Don't absolutely have to get it planted tonight by any stretch. Alright, so let's get our weapons of war here, our wooden club. Let's grab our small sword as well. Put the rod back and the axe back. I don't really think I need to upgrade any of this stuff yet. Now I think I'm good on that. And let's grab some restorables here. So let's grab six carrots for sure. And seven leeks. I think that'll get us far. Yeah, that'll be about good. All right, so let's head into town. Let's stop by Clint's. We'll stop by Pierre's and then Clint's and then head up to the mountain. You see our animals here. We've got some uh, two heart chickens. I mean, we could buy another chicken as well, but the three chickens we have, the two managed machines that we have, it, it, it's doing pretty good. Uh, what do we have going on here? Could also get our backpack upgraded too, it looks like. Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? This must be the Joja Mart guy. Morris. Ahem. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off. Your purchase at Joja Mart. Man, this is why they say no soliciting, right? He's got to have a no soliciting sign. Well, any takers? Don't worry, Pierre. I will spend more money at your local establishment. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Joja Corp is clearly the superior choice. 
Soon the whole town will will realize that. Them's fighting words. I'd like to see it. Pierre V. Morris. Let's go. Alright, so what do I want? I want... Bear's fruit only in the spring. Only in the spring. We have the orange. We have the peach. Could plant one of these now, but I think we're okay without that. The pomegranate... The pomegranate sapling, however, it's either that or the apple. Let's get the palm tree. Let's do it. Palm tree's good. We need it. Wow, I just realized it's Friday. Yeah, I have days like that too, I must admit. All right, let's head on over to Clint's, get our shiny new pickaxe, and then... I think we can get 5, 10 floors done. Especially with the luck on our side, slightly. And, you know, our better pickaxe that mines stones faster. Thanks, Clint. Appreciate you, man. Alright. Good deal. In fact, if I wanted to be super efficient with this, I could have... Dropped off stuff at Gunther's, but what do you do? Look at him go to Joja Mart. Stop. Joja Mart will get theirs eventually. All right, let's go. I believe we left off on floor 35. What's up, Linus? There you go, buddy. Horseradish? Nah. I'm good. Gotta manage my inventory space effectively here. Alright, let's go. And you can see this copper pickaxe takes all these stones out in one hit now, which is very nice. And like I said, we want to get down to floor 40 where we start getting iron. So let's just keep mining away here. Maybe we can get a mining level up. In fact, we are mining level two. Yeah, we definitely need a mining level up. Maybe we can get two of them. I don't know. That's probably a little ambitious. But let's go. Let's find that ladder. Let's get out of here. We're already wasting too much time. I want to find some iron. I want to get five iron bars and I want to get that axe upgraded. That's what we got to do. Got to do that in like the next five days here. My goodness, just no luck at all on this floor. First floor, it was like the first three stones. This floor, it's like... Oh, it's because it's already revealed. How about that? All right, let's eat a leak. Let's eat another. And you guessed it, we're going to eat yet another leak. And let's go. Floor 37 here. Definitely want to get our combat skill up as well. After all, it's just more HP, right? Useful stuff. Here's an amethyst. Looks like the way is already revealed. Very nice. Here's a red mushroom. I'll take this. Here's some coal. Absolutely take that. Need that desperately. Got some new ideas to sleep on. Love to see that. Just take that. Just get out of my way. Yeah, drop that iron. That's what we need. A lot of enemies on this floor. A 
but down they fall. My goodness, two more of them. All right, this is good battle EXP for sure. We need this. I, I will entertain this. Almost a floor 40 here. They're really making me earn this one, aren't they? Man, I, I don't think I've seen this many enemies. At least of uh, these like little shadow guys. Definitely have a lot of them in this one here, folks. But it should be worthy of getting us closer to that next level up. Alright, so we have the Miasma. So this means enemies will begin to swarm you. We need the bat wings anyways, but my goodness game. Like, let's go. Let's get out of here. Alright, good. Get me out of there. Alright, so floor 40 is soon approaching. Just got to get there. Got some copper right down there. That's lovely. I'm going to take this copper here quick. Got the miasma. It's coming back. Get out of my way. All right, we have reached floor 40. And what do we get? We get a slingshot. Pretty uninspiring stuff. Now we are kind of in the ice cavern, right? We get some quartz, and you see right here, folks, we get some iron, which is exactly what we're looking for. In fact, we got five nodes of iron. Very nice. So let's mine it out. Absolutely. This little stone right there will give you a mineral. We've got the amethyst there. And let's move on. See if we can get to 45 here. The luck is certainly in our favor. Enemies a little stronger as well. There's a quartz. Definitely need that. More iron. Lovely stuff. Alright, it's 920. Still doing pretty good on time here. There's a frozen geode. That is absolutely something we also need. Get out of here, bat. I suppose I picked a fight with you. You kind of were minding your own business. And then here I come in, picking a fight. All right, let's let's find it. Let's get out of here. Let's get down to forty-five at, at least. If we can get to forty-five, I will call this a win. There we go. All right, one more floor here. More quartz. That is just key. Love it. Another frozen geode as well. Very good stuff. All good things. Let's 
See you later, slime man. There we go. 45. Terrific. Um, let's see. What can we throw down? Um... The pomegranate? No, I'm just joking. Throw it on the wood. Winter root. We're going for these boxes here. These boxes have good things in them. Including, what's this? Small plant. Okay. Bunch of cave carrots. Uh, these are useful. Let's throw it on the single unit of bug meat and go for it. Then let's get out of here. 1210. Don't want to be caught out too late. Leave the mine. Let's go. And we are taking the proverbial trek back home here, folks. We're going to take the high road this time. We're going to get home. We're going to close that door. Here's a horseradish. Here's a leek. We ate all of our leeks, didn't we? I'm definitely taking this. Got two of them. Lovely. All right, let's close the door. Get some mayonnaise going. Drink the mayonnaise. That's funny. Get out of here, man. Put it right there. That's a fine spot. If I don't say so myself. All right, so we have some great iron reserves now. So let's take 10 of these bad boys. Oh no, the slime's going to slow us. Wow, we just barely made it. And on that note, that is a fine place to end an episode with a little intensity, a little anxiety, a little uncertainty. What a spot to end it. But first, we have level 3 mining here, plus 1 pickaxe proficiency in the miner's treat as a recipe now. We did not get a combat upgrade, which is surprising, but that's okay. The cauliflower harvest chips in... Well, the cauliflower in mayonnaise harvest here chips in another $1,000. So that is day 19 of spring here, folks. Uh, we are quickly moving towards summer, of course. Hopefully we have a few more rainy days and we're going to have a few strawberry harvests as well. So all kinds of exciting things coming in the next few episodes here. We're going to try to keep just barreling down toward the bottom of the mine. We're going to keep going. We're going to harness our momentum. We're going to fashion some iron into bars. We're going to get our axe upgraded. We're going to start stockpiling resources for advanced sprinklers. And we're going to just keep leveling up our key skills. But our main focus is going to be the mine. Um, ultimately, we want to get to the spot where you start getting gold. Right? So, fun, fun things here, folks. Next rainy day, we're going to get a whole bunch of work done in that mine. I just know it. So, thank you so much for your viewership of this playthrough series. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for your comments and your support. If you are enjoying the playthrough series, please consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. Brand new here on YouTube, just started basically at the end of November 2023, right around Thanksgiving time. And it's been a journey ever since, absolutely. But the people in this community are awesome and I appreciate you for viewing. I really, really do. So thank you so much. If you like the playthrough series, 
join us. It'd be awesome. But stay tuned right here for this channel for more Stardew Valley episodes. I also have a, another farm roguelike that I launched a new series on. I don't know if you like farming games. It's a little different than Stardew Valley, but I launched a new playthrough series on that. I've completed a few. Well, we're going again. We're going to do a run as the cook. So if that might interest you, tune into that. You will see videos dropping on this channel here, uh, you know, every so often. It'll probably be, I don't know, a five or six video series. And we also have the long-awaited update to Terra Cards, which is kind of the game that got me started on YouTube here. It's the 1.3 update. So as soon as that drops, I'm eager to basically be uh, churning out some more videos on that fine game again as well. All these games have some something in common with Stardew Valley in that they have a farm theme. But obviously, no game is quite like Stardew Valley. It is the champion of farming, kind of lifelike simulator games, for sure. And I've always maintained that Stardew Valley is a game that... I mean, you can't just sum it up as a farming game, because it really isn't. It's so much more than just that. It's got a certain charm. It's got a certain appeal. It's got... A lot of depth, and there's a lot of care put into this game by the awesome developer Concerned Ape. So shout out to you if you are enjoying the series. You have good taste. Stardew Valley is a great game. Anyways, folks, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much. We'll catch you in the next episode. Take care, and see you later.